Hello, it's Susan here. Today I'm going to do a um, swirl. I'm going to call it swirl and blow pour. So I'm going to um, swirl the paint. I'm going to mix the uh, three colors in the cup together, pour it on in a swirl over a white base coat. And then um, with my breath, I'm going to blow it out. So, hope it works. I added Deco Art top coat, clear pouring top coat in my paints. I want to see how that looks, see what results I get from that. So I added uh, one part white paint. Uh, Artist Law Flow Acrylic to about a quarter of a amount of the top coat in my white. And my colors, I'm using Thalo Blue, Kodakrium Magenta, and Windsor Violet. And I, um, I just added a little bit of the, por the top coat in with this. Probably about a quarter of the amount of paint and then added water. And also water in my white to make it um, a really thin consistency. So I'm going to put my top coat on now. Okay, I have my cup here. And I'm just going to layer the paints in the cup. Put some magenta in first. I don't even know if I have too much paint. So, somehow I think I might have too much paint, but I hope not. <laughs> so I'm just going to squeeze the cup and in a swirl. And yes, I do have too much paint, but I'll make it work. Okay, that's it. So you can see it's a swirl. Okay, so now I'm going to pour white around the outside. Ah, uh, <laughs> did not want to do that. And that. But that's okay. I'm going to be blowing the paint on the color, so my head's going to be in the way a little bit, so bear with me. I'm blowing with my breath. I was off camera. So that's how it looks. And what I forgot to do was pop some air bubbles on the white. I'll do it now. Okay. 
now I'm going to blow it back with my breath again. And hopefully I won't go off camera again. Sorry about that. So I think I'm going to blow this way and then this way. one off camera again. I don't know if I want to do any more to that. I think I'm just going to leave it. Yep, I am going to leave that. I think that looks gorgeous. So I'm going to... Torch the, the air bubbles out. <clears throat> That's it. I like it. Um, bring it in for a close-up. Oops, sorry about that. Shaking the camera. Gorgeous colors. I added one drop of dimethicone in the violet because I did a, a test with just before this and I didn't get any cells at all with this. Maybe it's the top coat that does that. I don't know, but I didn't get anything. So I thought, well, I'll just put one drop in one color and I got some cells. I really like it. Very cool. Okay, I hope it dries well. So, um, I will put the dried results at the end. And, um, I just want to say, um, if you stop by our, our, a Facebook group called Acrylic Art and Pouring Friends. Uh, you can join. I will put a link in my description to the Facebook group. So please come by and join. And um, if you enjoy my videos, uh, hit the bell and hit the like button and subscribe if you already haven't. And I will see you in my next video. Bye for now. 
I'm back and the painting is dry it dried really nice but it did change quite a bit from when I stopped painting I got some pretty cool effects over here and right here so I guess it's the uh, deco art um, top coat that's probably done that and it's probably made this change so much it's kind of funny right there it looks like a <laughs> looks like the back end of a woman a woman with long flowing hair <laughs> cool so anyway I'm gonna try doing a swirl without the uh, deco art top coat and see what kind of effects I get see if it doesn't change like as much as this did I really liked it when I first finished it and it's okay now but I I, I, I liked it better um, before. So, anyway, I will uh, see you in my next video. Bye for now.